So starting the test drive in this Express Low Top van, a very, very nice ride here overall. And what I'm trying to say is, as opposed to the high top, I feel like this is a bit more controllable. Feels like a standard cargo van. I don't feel like it's about to tip over whenever I go around the corner. Not that the high top would, but this just feels more centered towards the ground. And I do just love how I feel like I have tons of space, but I also feel snug in the sense that I feel comfortable driving this. I don't feel like it's as big as it is. Whereas if you're driving the high top transit, the high top express, you feel like you're in a bigger van because of how much, I guess how tall the van actually is. But again, this just feels like a typical, not quite as maneuverable as the minivan, but closer than the high top is. And I just love this 6.6 .6 Vortec V8. It's got some power. And with it being a Vortec, Max just tuned a little bit. It's just, uh, it's a treat to drive, it really is. And I wanna give another big thank you to Mike Strucci Chevrolet, AKA Sean at Conversion Van Land for allowing me to drive this thing today and review it. I'll definitely leave a link below in the description so y'all can check it out if you're interested in getting one because he keeps quite a few vans on the lot. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that's enjoyable there. Just such a, a strong, strong powertrain here. And I just love the roar of that freaking Vortec V8. It's something. And another tasteful thing I think that Explorer did this year is putting the dual exhaust on this thing and just making it feel that much more aggressive, that much more, that much stronger. just a, a treat to drive this thing. Now in terms of the maneuverability, this actually feels pretty good. It's extremely windy out today, but I still feel like I can control this van taking it around corners. Obviously not taking it around corners harshly, but I don't feel like I'm about to lose control on the road. Now this is pretty, I think for what you get in this van, particularly not a bad price at all. You get some of the most comfortable leather seats that you could want. This new Alpine system is phenomenal. The rear screen paired with the Apple CarPlay as well as the, or with the Apple TV, excuse me, as well as the Blu-ray player is just great. And this, again, the powertrain here is strong. You get that 8-speed automatic pair with the 6.6 .6 V8. It's a little thirsty, but more fuel efficient than it was with the 6-speed. And then on top of that, as opposed to the older from a few years back, just standard 6.0 V8, the 6.6 .6 is even stronger more aggressive but also more fuel efficient so i'm just loving what this van has become over the years even though in some ways it's showing its age in other ways it's showing just how compatible this is with america's conversion van enthusiasts and i would not hesitate to get one of these if i could afford one and with all that being said this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Explore conversion van low top.